Need for Speed Heat gameplay. Welcome back to Gamescom footage, my friends. Today, we're customizing a car that was actually already in the last game. I know, that's basically all the cars we've got to customize. But there are some new things on here that I wanted to point out that are of significance because of the fact that other cars are being introduced with similar properties. That's right, removing the roof. Convertibles are here. Should I say convertibles? Would you say convertibles? The cars that you can remove the roof in the customization. So technically not a convert, but also convertibles. Obviously, I'm hoping to see some cars that can convert on the fly. We will hopefully see that because that would be one of the first times I think that's a thing. I think Test Drive may have had the option to do so, but this was customized by my friend Corey, which is probably why it's going to look a million times better than anything I could possibly wish to create. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having so much fun here at Gamescom customizing, playing the same demo over and over again. That's a bit of a lie there. I would hope, I was, I was hoping that we'd get a little bit of free roam. I know that Reddit is putting together a map, so hopefully, very, very soon, we'll be able to show you a full map that Reddit has pieced together. I love Reddit. Don't you love Reddit? Reddit is great. Reddit is amazing. Reddit... They think. Anyway, <laughs> so I yeah, skipped through some of this customization because obviously you've seen all the tires we've sh shown you in the previous video. If you haven't already seen the previous video, it is me customizing the R35 GTR. I would highly recommend because I have some amazing paint skills now. You can say that, amazing paint skills. But I'm talking about paint, not vinyl. That's a little bit different. Anyway. P B BBS wheel. It's so cool to see in the back. And something I didn't even pay attention to the last time. It does show you the actual rim, the rim's name on the bottom of the screen now. On the bottom of the listing. Thank the Lord. No, unfortunately, we still can't copy the wheels from the front to the rear or vice versa. That is something we've been asking for since 2015. Where is it? Other than that. I think everything else is pretty solid. I think you, you can do this, do the that with the paint of the wheels still. One other cool little thing that you, you will spot it as Corey is going through the wheels here. You will spot that you can actually do the special paint types on the wheels. You can do iridescent wheels and such. It's awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love the new paint styles. It makes so much more sense. Uh, we were really limited before and I never even realized. And now we can do it on the paint, on the wheels, and obviously the car itself. Amazing. You can have a fully color shifting car chameleon if you want to. If you want to. Now, big wing on the back. This reminds me of my race car that I built on Payback. If you've been playing or subscribed for a while, should I say, you will have known my red Corvette that I made as a grippy boy. Well, on this game, it's a little bit different because obviously the cars are stock, so we don't actually get to test the proper gripness of the cars and I would say compared to the GTR the main reason I want to show you this car other than the roof is the handling of this car and also the sound of this car because it sounds absolutely immense but no the, the handling of this car is very different and I found that to be the case with pretty much every other car we have customizable here at Gamescom on the demo and the difference being this is rear wheel drive, and there is a significant difference. He just changed the roof, just like that. He put the roof on. Who put the car in? The roof could have stayed off. You could have kept the roof off. That was a new thing, and you put the roof on. I'm disappointed, but no. It's cool that you have the option. I like that a lot. You can choose which you want. Anyway, as I said, there's a difference between rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. Okay, and I feel that difference. More than I've ever felt it before in a Need for Speed game. It's it's magical. It's magical. The rear-wheel drive cars stock slide a little bit more, as you would expect. Especially the high-power cars, all of which are pretty high power here. But when it comes to the lower end, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Oh, well, it depends what age. If it's an old car, I'm guessing wheel spin. And if it's new, not. They've spent a lot more time on these cars that are already in the game. Because that's what they should have done from the start. And they know this now. We're just going to listen to Corey tune the exhaust here. Now, the exhaust on this is possibly one of my favorite. It's one of the new sounds for sure. It sounds very different. I would say very different. It sounds similar, but more aggressive, more American. 
him. That sounds quite tinny now, doesn't it? What are you doing? What are you doing, Corey? What are you doing to the exhaust? But no, once we get outside, you'll hear exactly what I mean. It actually, it actually sounds like my Lexus RCF when I'm on full pack. Can you say full pack? People know what I mean when I say full pack. Full throttle. Full, giving it the beans, you know? Anyway, essentially, you'll, you'll hear that shortly. Now, this is where he plays with the paint a little bit. Obviously, he plays with a different style of paint than I did. He went with, uh, I believe, the flake in the end. But going through some of the matte colors and the satin colors, I know a lot of people like those. And obviously, going through all these special different types of carbon fiber. There's so many carbon fibers. I I'm spoiled. Honestly, I, would I love carbon fiber. If you don't, you don't like cars. End of. <laughs> okay? End of. But no. Going through, I do, do you know, I quite like the matte and the satin on this. I am the type of person that thinks that this type of paint only really fits an American automobile, a classic, a classic or new American muscle car. This is a super muscle, I would say, in my opinion. It suits it very well, but I would I would much rather show it off with a nice little bit of color. Color is beautiful. Color is nice. Stop being so tame. Oh my god, it looks like my red car now. I mean, it's orange, but it's almost red. It's got purple lights. He almost knew in his mind that he was going to go blue. Maybe he did. I actually haven't asked him if he meant to do the blue. But again, going through some of the color shift colors and the chameleon paint is probably one of my favorites. It's like three combined colors. It's awesome. I, it reminds me of my Lexus. Again, this car overall has reminded me of my Lexus multiple times. It's, it's American market, it's V8. Anyway, to the blue paint, which is going to be the final color of this car. It suits the purple headlights a lot. I like your, your idea there, my boy, my writer. And uh, obviously, the only sticker you should put on a car... By the way, you should, you should download the app and put my sticker on everything. Also, I believe there's quite a few new stickers in this game as well. Normally, with Payback, I don't think they added many stickers at all, except the new vinyls that were made to go on the, 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 the cars that they added. Honestly, all the police, liveries and stuff, all here. Just, you know, just as you want. Very nice indeed. Anyway, the M3 liveries have been removed since, I think, and uh, that hints towards something extra exciting, which hopefully... We'll see in the near future. I'm excited. You're excited. You know it. Anyway, to the gameplay, we should now commence. This is where uh, my, my boy was once again driving because obviously he's in last place. So that is exactly proof as to it is not me driving. Sometimes, I, Most of the time I come second. <laughs> but you can hear the sound exactly what I was talking about with this car. It sounds awesome. They have revamped a lot of the car sounds and they sound so much better for it. So much better. The GTR sounds about similar. Uh, obviously, the other cars, I can't really say because I haven't driven much of them. But I, this, I drove a lot. And this definitely sounds a lot meatier. And I'm going to be doing a video on handling, as I said, once I've properly de delved in and tried everything as extensively as I could. Which I'm, I'm going to very, very soon. Don't worry. I'm going to today, actually. I'm going to today. Jumping to night time. Uh, which I think he did a little bit better on this race, which is quite nice. Boosting through the set. How did he miss that? That was a really close call. To be honest with you, that was really close. Now, you can see there for a millisecond, I say a millisecond, a few seconds, that when it came to the drifting of the Corvette, it handled a little bit differently to the GTR. You, you definitely have to do throttle control. GTR almost kind of did a power slide because it is all-wheel drive. And it held, it held the drift a little bit better than the rear-wheel drive Corvette did. The Corvette's obviously just spinning the rears, whereas all-wheel drive cars, they kind of move sideways. They keep going. It's, a, it's almost an experience you'll, you'll have to try for yourself. Obviously, again, when it came to standard, buying from the factory, these are bought stock. These are not modified performance-wise whatsoever. You get in the GTR, and you instantly feel much more grip than you do with every other car in there because they're all wheel, rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive cars tend to be uh, a little bit more slidey. They, they drift a lot easier on this game. It's kind of annoying <laughs> because any other car that you drive it has an issue in that it slides too much. But as I said, I'll talk more about that in the handling kind of video. 
Kinda. Specific video. Kinda. What am I ch- Okay. Now, the nighttime and the daytime contrast, I had to show you them. Obviously, I would say the- The world looks- I like the way the world looks in the day because you get to do more exploration, focus on the exploration, drive around, have some fun. But as it comes to the nighttime kind of thing, it's more about full on action. Focus only on the action. People have, I've seen even Kuru struggle in the nighttime racing because of the fact that there's so much going on. There's so many cops, so much rate. They showed you like the most intense scenario when it comes to a race. It's a bit full on, honestly. It's a bit full on when it came to this demo, but I, I believe this is a race that's supposed to be at this stage early in the game to give you a taster of what the, the, the most aggressiveness can be. And then you'll probably drop down to the bottom and start from the beginning and go work your way up, as it were, as you usually do with a Need for Speed game. Which I kind of like. I like when they show you the cool stuff and then they say, okay, now you've got to get this stuff. Because it makes you go, I want that stuff, please. Stop taking it away from me. I need it. Anyway, coming up to the end of the race now, 86%. But I'm going to jump to the end a little bit closer. Boom. In a second. And we're at 90%. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't jump. <laughs> anyway, moving through the city. You can see that a bit of a slide there came out of the rear wheels. Because, of fact, again, as I was talking about, very minimal grip compared to the all-wheel drive vehicles. I'm interested to see how that's going to affect the Huracan and the RSR. Because the RSR, as you may or may not know as a long-time Need for Speed fan, it is OP. Overpowered in terms of race. But only because it could drift. What happens when you make a fully gripped RSR? Or a fully gripped Hurricane. Or it, it, will it beat them? Because surely the straight line speed is going to be faster. You're not going to have any slippage, any spillage, any... No issues. It should be pretty darn smooth. I don't know. Anyway. My friends, if you want to see the rest of this video, this is the Cop Chase video that I released yesterday. Go and check it out. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.